My name is Teresa Peterson. I'm 19 years old and a second year here at Oregon State. Um, I am from Kaiser, Oregon, which is basically a part of Salem, Oregon. And my major is biology and international studies with a marine biology option and a pre-vet option. Um, my major, a major is basically what you study. So I really like biology, so I've been studying biology and I also really like Spanish. So that's what my international studies is. Excellent. And my name is Cassie Huber. I'm 20 years old and I'm from a small town in California called Turlock, which is in the central of California. My studying option is speech communications, which is pretty much an analysis of discussion and behavior and some careers that it might lead to um, would hopefully be uh, managing businesses and hopefully contracting and possibly going to law school. I chose to come to college because I want to be a veterinarian and in order to go into any sort of medical field you need a lot of school so that you don't mess up and hurt an animal or a person. So I came to get more education so that I could be a good veterinarian. I chose to come to college to be successful in the business world. I also want to have a large impact in government. So maybe being a politician or a district attorney, which would be a lawyer for a city or something like that, uh, would be a really great opportunity for me to gain a lot of experience and also you need a really good education in order to help those people. A college degree will open so many different doors for you, uh, depending on what your specific major is, which is what you choose to study in college. I think any door is possible with a college degree. It helps businesses and employers show that you're ready to take on a large responsibility. And I think that a college degree will help me achieve my future goal of being a lawyer by giving me a lot of experience in dealing with people. I think that a college degree will help us both achieve our future goals because college degree means more than just taking classes and getting C's in them. It means that you did probably a lot of extracurricular activities, were involved on campus, you got a whole bunch of experience, and it also means that you're persistent and can finish something that you started. So. Um, some of the struggles that I faced uh, in preparing for college or that um, the whole application process can be a little scary and they'll tell you you have to write essays for it and so I was a little nervous to even get started like look at the questions because I didn't know if I was going to be able to answer everything like to my best ability or be as like satisfactory as I needed to be. So I was just nervous to even start um, and another thing I was nervous about was where to apply. It's really hard to like look around everywhere and then decide which one would be best for you. Um, and I really like Oregon so it worked out. <laughs> Kind of going off of what Teresa said, it was definitely hard to choose where to apply to college and I feel that being an out-of-state student and applying to a different state school was a really big difficulty for me. I was really scared and nervous being away from home, but just being in a good area in a good location, I felt that this school was right for me. Um, and another struggle that I faced was, you know, how was I going to, you know, move and be so far away from home and possibly afford all of these certain things that you have to have for school. So I think preparing for that was kind of difficult, but I had a lot of support through it. I chose OSU because it's a beautiful campus. It had 
so many different programs and opportunities for me here. And I felt that with all of those open opportunities that were available to all students here that I would excel and succeed going to this school. I chose Oregon State because they have a really good science program and they also have a vet school. So it just works out that I can go do my next four years at the same place and I'll be very familiar with the campus and how everything works. So it's very convenient. My favorite part of college so far is all of the different opportunities that I have to do things. So I get to volunteer at the animal hospital here on campus and I get to work with animals and see how veterinarians do their jobs, which I think is really cool because that's what I want to do. Um, I also am in a sorority, so basically a group of girls that meet every week and hang out and do fun things and so I've made a lot of friends. And I really like that um, the people in college are also open and happy and they all want to be friends with everybody, so it's really cool. I think that my favorite part of college so far is definitely, going off what Teresa said, the opportunities. There's so many different things that you can do here. I work for the student body government and it's helping me help students to have the best possible college experience that they can have, as well as making lots of friends who are interested in the same career paths as me, and kind of connecting with more people on an in-depth level who we feel that we're kind of the same, we're going to the same college where we have very similar goals, and I think that makes friendships lasting at Oregon State. My advice for middle school students in preparing for college would be to think about what your interests are, whether that be sports or volunteering or different type of subjects in school. Um, I would definitely say to think about what classes you're going to take in high school or even now in middle school and try to make it a diverse, so a variety of classes. So if you like English and science and writing and math, take all different types of classes, art classes, dance classes, PE classes, um, just so that you know for sure that you didn't like forget that you really liked something and then not have the opportunity to do it later on. I would also say to find a way to motivate yourself. So if you really don't like doing homework, and it's really hard, maybe find something that makes you want to do homework, like you get to eat a Skittle after you do every problem or something like that so that you do your work when you need to do it and that will keep your grades up and make you successful in the future. If I could go back to middle school and kind of do things over again, I would definitely not be as shy as I was or be embarrassed to try new things, um, whether that be sports or take random classes that I might not be good at, like art for me, or um, meet new people that I maybe normally wouldn't talk to because in college you're going to be put in a whole bunch of situations that can be kind of scary but if you've already been practicing not being embarrassed or not being too shy and trying new things then you're going to feel a lot more comfortable when those situations come later on in your life so if you hate speeches practice giving speeches and get really good at it or if you hate sports try some new sports and see if you can find one that you do like just so that when a situation comes where you need to put yourself out there a little bit more, you feel a little bit more comfortable. Going back to elementary school for a second time, I would try to make sure that I set more goals for myself, whether they were big goals or small goals, if I wanted to be something like a fireman or an astronaut when I grew up. I would try and know and learn the logical next steps onto how to become an astronaut or a fireman.
We'd love to hear back from you. Hopefully we're going to be with you for the rest of the year. And you can get back to us by sending us a letter or making your own video and introducing yourselves or asking us questions. So we look forward to seeing you guys soon. Yeah. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>